Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reacting a video called Uncle Roger Hates Jeremy Oliver Egg Fried Rice. This is gonna be my second reaction video to Uncle Roger's reaction video. Actually, I like him a lot. You know, intentionally he makes the Asian accent. I wish I could make the Asian accent like him or naturally I already have it. Anyway, if you like my video, please subscribe. Also, like if you have any questions, please, please leave comment below. I would be happy to answer any question and take any request. So anyway, you know, let's get started. Okay, now let's start the video. Egg fried rice is an absolute classic and I've got a two seconds into video and I already see saucepan higher. Where your wok? Jamie, where, where your, your wok? wok? Egg fried rice need to use wok because you need the wok hay. Many people asking Uncle Roger, what is wok hay? It is the breath of wok. When you cook with wok, the wok gives the food flavor. Get the wok hay. No such thing as saucepan hay. Jamie, you have 25 cookbook, but you can't afford one wok. Uncle Roger send you one wok for free, Jamie. No problem. I absolutely love. Actually, this is a nice call. If you use a hog when you cook fried rice, the fried rice would be 10 times better than the one cooked by a normal pan. I think this difference is something that only Asian people can realize. I would say like that was a good call, Uncle Roger. Oh, let's move on. Making this recipe. Yes, you could do this as a side dish. No trouble at all. But actually, it's heading towards being a really beautiful dinner. So, wait. Yes, you could do this as a side dish. Jamie say egg fried rice is side dish. When Uncle Roger growing up, when my mom make me egg fried rice, that is the main dish. I never tell my mom, oh mom, this egg fried rice is only side dish. Where the main dish? Where the main dish? I would have been beaten to death. A finely sliced. That's actually very true. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, I asked my mom, Hey mom, what you making for dinner? She goes, oh, fried rice. You know, I was like, okay, yeah, then we are gonna have fried rice. Then I was actually so happy. In Asian countries, fried rice can be a main dish. Cause we all eat rice three times a day. Then we do this every day. So fried rice is kind of one of the main like dish. We all like. Yeah, anyway, let's move on. And as this pan gets nice and hot, I'm gonna go in with one tablespoon of olive oil and what? One tablespoon of of what? I'm gonna go in with one tablespoon of olive oil. Olive oil for egg fried rice. Who use olive oil for egg fried rice? Why are you making salad? Olive oil is like white people oil, not suitable for Asian dishes like egg fried rice. Actually, I don't know if this makes a huge difference on the taste, like using olive oil. So maybe I will try it someday, then I'm gonna see the difference. Let's go back. And I'm gonna go straight in with the onions and we'll get them sizzling straight away. And no, 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 no. Spring onion is garnish, it's garnish. You put spring onion as the last thing in your meal, not the first thing in the frying pan, hiya. We'll get them sizzling straight away. No, you don't sizzle spring onion. Nobody sizzles spring onion. If you cook spring onion now, it will wilt, it wilt. This should be garlic. First step should be garlic. This first three step all wrong already. I thought you professional chef, you have website and everything. Uncle Roger don't even have website and Uncle Roger know you fucked up. So this is so true. Uh, the first things uh, you want to cook when you cook fried rice is garlic. Always garlic. The food that you're gonna put after garlic can catch the smell of garlic. So it's gonna be like, you know, so good with garlic. So I think Uncle Roger is way better than the professional chef when it comes to cooking fried rice. Uncle Roger knows so many things about fried rice. Let's go back. And then I've got some packet pre-cooked rice. Yes, you can cook your own. Packet. This guy owns so many restaurants and he still can't be bothered to make his own rice. Packet rice? Imagine if you go to a Japanese restaurant and you ask for noodle and the chef gives you instant noodle. That 
is what this guy is doing. So I didn't know they the packet rice uh, until I came to the U.S. Cause we all Japanese have a, a nice quality rice cooker at least one in the house. So that we use it to cook rice every day. First things you learn as a kid in Asian country is have to cook rice. I'm not even kidding. Like you can ask your uh, Asian friend. They will. Uh, your friend is gonna tell you like first things I learned was cooking rice. Anyway, so let's go back to the video. Rice, white rice, twelve minutes. But for stir fried rice, you have to drain it and chill it. Uh, you have to chill it. He correct, but drain don't, don't drain rice. Uncle Roger made a whole video. Twelve million view now. Of anti hersha draining rice, don't drain rice, but chill rice, correct. Forty. So never drain rice. Uh, by the way, by the way, I have to make a reaction video of the video that he was just talking about someday. So let's go back. He five second in. First thing he got correct. So for me, that feels like a good cheek. You can hear it sizzling. You hear sizzling. I hear my ancestors crying. Oh, it's fast. It's hot. It's furious. I'm just going to toss it around. Right, then it... Oh, Uncle Roger, don't like the look of this. He's taking ingredient from this drawer, and it's, this drawer looks so white. Because Asian ingredient never come in jar. You ever notice that? Asian ingredient always come in plastic bag or bad packaging. If your packaging look this nice, nice jar, nice bag over there, then it's not Asian ingredient. Next ingredient. I have this in my home all the time now. Chili jam. It's what I tell you. It's not Asian ingredient. What are you doing with chili jam? Let's see. Brilliant for cooking. It's got heat, but it's also got the sweetness and it's going to kind of glaze. Oh, no, 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 no. This is crazy. The chef just doing the fried rice. I can tell you it's not going to be good fried rice. All Asian people would act like Uncle Roger if we saw someone's putting jam in the fried rice is crazy. I've never seen someone actually who put jam in fried rice. Let's move on to see what's gonna happen. Putting jam in rice. <laughs> this is disgusting. Who put jam? First of all, what is chili jam? Uncle Roger, no fresh chili, chili oil, chili flake. Never heard of chili jam. Is this how you trick white people to eating chili? You give them fresh chili, they go, No, 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 I don't mm. actually like chili. Give them chili jam and they go, Oh, chili jam is so weird thing to use. Jamie, do you know about Sriracha? Mm. This is Asian chili, just use. So, I've been using this chili sauce since I came to the US. Actually, this is good sauce. Even though I've never had one in Japan, like, like I wish I could find it in Japan. But like this is so good. I think even American people like the sauce. Alright, let's go back. This, no need to use jam. What are you gonna put in there next? Peanut butter. Okay, why do you go bake PB and J egg fried rice? How many things can a chef get wrong in one video? Hiya! Two nice teaspoons go in to our pan and then just start tossing again. He toss very poor, but he toss all the wrong stuff. All style, no substance. That will start to coat every single rice grain, and it will shine in the most beautiful way. And then just give it a little splash of water. Wait, what? What? No. <laughs> in the middle of cooking, you put water. Oh. Uncle Roger say, if your rice too wet, you fucked up. But if your rice too dry, you also f Asian people have their own preference for the texture of, of rice. Some people like dried rice, uh, some people like uh, soft rice. We all can tell like difference on the texture of rice. So like he said, if you messed up, like it's over. We become like so serious when it comes to rice. So anyway, let's go back to the video. Fucked up. At this stage, just push the rice up the side of the pan, like that. And then straight into the middle, we're going to crack in two beautiful free-range eggs. Okay. Okay, the egg look good, egg look good. And then it's time for the last ingredient, which again, to a lot of people... He reaching for that shelf again. So Uncle Roger, don't think it's going to end well. Uncle Roger, just don't like that shelf. I think it's wrong shelf for egg fried rice. 
maybe during filming, they put the wrong shelf there. And Jamie's like, oh shit, you bought the wrong shelf. What I do now? And the filming people are like, we don't care. Just use whatever in the shelf. Well, it's a bit of a new ingredient. Tofu. To Firm, silken tofu. Tofu? Why your tofu in juice box? Who made your tofu? Capri Sun? When Uncle Roger buy tofu at Asian market, always come in plastic bag, plastic seal wrapping. No tofu look like juice box. What, are you going to poke straw and drink your tofu? 50 grams. Actually, look, the tofu looks really nice. When I saw the chef uh, brought tofu from the shelf, I thought it was weird. Because like Uncle Roger said, uh, in Asian countries, tofu is wrapped by plastic seal, like the image he was showing us in the video. But actually, this tofu looks so good. I can tell Uncle Roger was also surprised by how beautiful this tofu is. Yeah, let's move on. And what you can do is just break this up. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> He make Uncle Roger put my leg down from chair. Baking tofu like how Auntie Helen baked Uncle Roger hot. Asian cooking, when you cook tofu, you put... Yeah, that's true. Like, we keep tofu look nice and good shape when we cook rice. No, 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 when we cook tofu. By the way, I was wondering that Uncle Roger did not say anything about putting tofu in their fried rice. In Japan, there's no way people put tofu in fried rice. That's kind of disgusting, but like, I don't know, he didn't mention about it. Mm, maybe in his culture, mm, putting tofu is like normal things. I don't know, but let's move on. Preserve the whole shape of tofu and serve to customer. This video, so many sad thing happening. He waste the spring onion, he wet the rice, and now he tear apart the tofu like paper. I don't know if Uncle Roger can go on. This depression is too much. I want chunks of egg and I want little bits. So the nice thing about this stir fried rice is it's kind of random. What he say? What he say? The nice thing about this stir fried rice is it's kind of random. Random is not compliment. You make food for your fan one day, and your fan say, why your food so random? And Jamie say, oh my god, so random. Gonna start restaurant. Season with a little salt. Give it a little toss. To salt, again, no MSG. But Uncle Rod to talk about MSG, too many video now. Mix it all up, and then we're ready to serve. Get a bowl. Put a little oil. This guy loves olive oil like how Auntie Hersha loves colander. That's weird, like to put olive oil before you put uh, fried rice in bowl. We don't do this. Just, I think it's wrong culture or like, I don't even know someone put olive oil in the bowl before they put, they put fried rice in it. So I can just tell this guy loves olive oil. Let's move on. He put olive oil on everything. Do you shower with olive oil also? <laughs> Don't go get massage from Jamie Oliver. He will put olive oil on your body. Ice dishes and that kind of street food, which is beautiful. It's often associated with being unhealthy. This has been made to be healthy. If by healthy you mean disgusting, then Jamie, you are right. Fine, you could have that as a meal. I think it's the time to have a little... This rice looks so wet. Look at this. You can see your reflection inside. Mulan is gonna start singing when she sees this rice. So silky. See, it's kind of funny that Asian people can see how well the rice is cooked. Even me, just by looking rice, I can tell if the rice is good or not. Uncle Roger is a real Asian for sure because he can tell you know, the difference between the rice. So, yeah, that's kind of normal to us. Uh, we can see uh, if the rice is good or not, just by looking. All right, let's move on. Okay, and delicious. Looks fantastic. And it's really good fun to make. <sighs> Jamie is professional chef. All the steps he messed up. Does this guy hate rice or something? What else have he done with rice? 
Oh, this guy, I think he just hate rice in general. Maybe he's sponsored by Potato Company. They are competition. Uncle Roger don't like this Jamie Oliver recipe. Too wet, no garlic, no MSG. He break the tofu, no wok. It's all wrong. Subscribe to Uncle Roger channel for more video. See you next time. Bye bye. All right. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching my video again. Uh, I hope I can see you in the next video. Also, if you like my video, please subscribe. Also, if you have like any question or request, please uh, leave comment below. I would be happy to answer your question and take request. Actually, I got request if I can react to another Uncle Roger video. So next video is gonna be uh, reacting to another Uncle Roger's video. So I hope you enjoyed my video then. I hope I can see you again in the next video. Alright, see you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.